Russia overnight launched its long-anticipated attack on Ukraine, striking military posts across the country. An unprovoked war in Europe is now underway. The assault began with an angry message from President Vladimir Putin broadcast in the middle of the night. Russia cannot feel safe, develop and exist with a constant threat emanating from the territory of modern Ukraine, he said, describing the government in Kiev as a junta of neo-Nazis determined to build nuclear weapons. As Putin spoke, seemingly on cue, Russian bombs started falling. Crews and ballistic missiles, Ukrainian officials said, along with attack helicopters striking military installations, including air bases near the capital, Kiev and more military targets in several other Ukrainian cities, including Kharkiv, the biggest city in eastern Ukraine. Russia claimed to have eliminated much of Ukraine's defenses, but the Russian reports appear exaggerated. Several videos showed what Ukrainian officials described as columns of Russian tanks entering Ukrainian territory. A potentially devastating war in Ukraine has just begun. But so far it appears to be a gradual assault, Putin, who said he does not want to occupy the country, may be trying to take Ukraine without having to fight hard for it, appealing to the military not to resist. But there are no signs Ukrainians are raising the white flag. President Zelensky, in a pre-dawn appeal, told Ukrainians to stay strong and calm as he announced the start of martial law. While some Ukrainians in Kiev were heading out of the capital, many are determined to stay and resist. In Mariupol, people this morning were stocking up on cash with long lines at the ATMs. How are you feeling? I'm nervous and I'm trying to keep my children calm, said Yulia. Putin says he's doing Ukrainians a favor by trying to get rid of their Nazi fascist government. What do you, what do you think about that? We don't need his protection, she said and dismissed Putin's claims as lies. Supermarkets were flooded too, 45-minute waits for checkout. This is our Ukraine. I'm staying. I'm calm. I'm even smiling, said Ivan. Ukraine has mobilized its forces and begun to defend its cities. The government is calling for urgent blood donations to treat the growing but still unclear number of casualties. Putin, in his message that launched this military offensive, seemed to have a special message for the United States, reminding the world that Russia is a nuclear power and said that anyone that tried to stop Russia's actions would face terrible consequences. Hoda. Richard Engel for us there. Richard, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.